No order. Did you expect it that I'll get pregnant like that yeah. quick? Because the whole plan was gonna be I mean, you after know, thirty. You know? I got like a, a very, you know, strong protein. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> And he didn't want me to go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am Nyasha, and this is Makeup A Difference. Today's video, obviously, after the last video, wanted to just talk about my pregnancy journey and how it's been going and everything. But yeah, if you didn't know, I'm pregnant. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if you want to see how this video goes, please carry on watching. Probably grab a cup of tea or coffee or water and stay tuned to the video. Welcome back. So from the last video, I shared with you guys a video, seven minutes video of my journey and me, me and my husband. He'll be joining me later. We shared that we are pregnant at the end if people watched the end because i know people got like a little short span i too do i i do too but if someone says wait till the video like wait to the end there's some hidden something in there but yeah let's just start from the start before the video um <laughs> so i found out i was pregnant in june and um honesty it was not planned <laughs> It was not planned. My plan was to at least celebrate my 30th birthday moving to our house um, because we had booked, we had, uh, you know, put this house down before I even was pregnant. So in case people are thinking, well, she got this house because she was pregnant. No, that's not it. I was trying to wait till like, at least I was 30, celebrate my 30th birthday because I'm only 29. And then I wanted to then, okay, let's not try, but let's you know if god blesses us god blesses if nothing happens because you know children do come from god so that's what i was just like aiming for my husband was all all for it all for it but then hey god had other plans he thought i was ready so even though i thought boy i'm not even ready you know the first time i find out i found out like the first symptoms i had was my nipples were aching like they were so painful but then i have some period pains where i actually do feel pain in my nipples so it was just like one of those like oh no it's probably just a period but it wasn't so um i was doing like a wedding trial <laughs> and uh, one of this uh, the the this lady that i know from ages actually calling my mom she just all of a sudden from nowhere just said are you pregnant and that and i was like no <laughs> and everything so ever, ever since she said that that's when that's what prompted me to go and get the test because i wasn't even thinking it i was literally just waiting for my my um what's it called my periods to come because i was so used to my periods delaying anyway because i was on an implant for like so many years so i'd only just came off the implant i'd come off two months i was like two months in after the implant so i was thinking because i was just trying to like cleanse my body from all those hormones because i stayed with the implant for like because implants are only for four three years and I stayed five years with it because um, COVID and they were like, oh, even if you stayed one year with it, nothing's going to happen. You won't get pregnant uh, when I was trying to renew it and stuff. Because like I said, I wasn't planning to get married, I mean married, to get pregnant until like after my 30th birthday, you know. Um, yeah, so <laughs> got it out of plans. So that's when I got the that's when I did the test and then I found out I was pregnant. And I was like, oh. I thought I was not gonna catch on quickly because I thought my body was gonna cleanse from all the hormones. It was probably gonna take me two years, one year. So I was like, we're good, babe, we're good. You know, you don't have to worry. They even gave me pills because they're like, you know, you can't just, you know, no, you know. But I was like, nah, because one of my cousins, she was on, um, 
she was on an implant or a coil and it took her like a whole year to get pregnant because she was not using any con or any, any protection or anything with her husband so i was like uh, ha it would be like me that would be me too so we're good out here because i was just tired of the implant because you know implants they make you gain weight even though they say no it's because what you're eating no they make you gain weight that's how i gained so much weight but i was like i'd rather gain weight than be sorry not be sorry no that baby is, is a problem but i was like i, I wasn't didn't want to just have a, a a baby just yet but at this point in my life i was like you know what if it happens it happens so no especially just being saved again with God in my life, with knowing how beautiful, like how kids are such a gift from God, and you know, it's, it, it, with every not the knowledge that I know now, I thought it was such an honor. Like one of my favorite verses in the Bible is Psalms 139, what, that talks about how God created us, and how we feel, feeling and wonderfully made, and you know, and I was like, oh my God, when I have a baby. I will always remember this verse and this is my first till now. I seen my sister get pregnant and have a baby. Labor, I'm, I'm t I was terrified of labor, not pregnancy. I seen my sister give birth and that really left a mark on me and I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> I was like, yeah, not yet, not anytime soon. But I knew in my heart I did want kids, but I, it just scared me like, oh, the labor process is too much it's too much i'm like but i think god in that time where i got saved god also was dealing with me when it comes to that like all the trauma so i wasn't scared when i found out i was pregnant i thought it was an honor like the thought of the pain of labor did come in and it still comes in here and there and like how painful it is but i was just i was not scared anymore i was like yes it's painful but i know god created my body for this and i know it's going to be with me so that's how i found out i was pregnant and the like pretty much what was going on in me and my thoughts so ever if you know me if you watch my video as i had said that i was like if i get pregnant you are not gonna know i will let people who i want to know know because I was, I just thought it was so sacred and special. So it was like, I'm not, I, I, I'm a person who likes to share my life, share what's going on. My boyfriend, I'll share in my private life. That's my, per, that's who I am. So for me to keep this on a lull for almost six months, yes, I am almost six months. That's massive. I did throw in a couple of hints there. If you watched my last, uh, not the last one the last video before my journey with my husband i threw in a hint of like a video coming up but then nobody seen some people seen and some people asked yeah about. we've talked about how i found out i was pregnant and what i was thinking and how god helped me through the trauma of child labor and whatnot it's actually like being pregnant is a beautiful journey it's absolutely amazing but I'm gonna just talk to you about my symptoms that I had. I'm gonna bring on my husband so we can talk about how he thought about the pregnancy and his reaction to the video. I'm gonna put also a clip of how he reacted to the pregnancy. So the symptoms that I had, obviously had like really sensitive nipples and I didn't want anything to brush over me. And I was like, just thinking, why are they getting so huge like why are they get i'm like why are my nipples getting so hench uh what the heck so that was weird for me and i felt so sleepy i was so tired all the time i was snuckered i would sleep like three times a day i never had morning sickness thank god because my cousin, she had morning sickness and I was like, oh my gosh, throughout the whole nine months, she did. But I used to spit. I don't spit anymore. I used to spit. I used to have a lot of phlegm in my, in my throat. That was like the first trimester in me, a little bit of mid in the second trimester. Cause I'm, I'm second trimester. I will be going to the third trimester in a couple of weeks. Not just yet. 
horrible headaches i'm gonna insert some clips in there because i did jerk like video it in there and i'll be inserting some clips whilst i'm talking about you know what i'm feeling so i am actually 10 weeks pregnant now and i'm always tired i sleep so much i was documenting it every single time every week basically just nice things to look back to and i had nosebleeds like extreme and my husband was so worried he was like what is going on are you sure this is okay uh yeah so i never uh, i was like i'll take nosebleeds over morning sickness every time i had like back pain uh, and i would feel dizzy sometimes when i stood up but yeah most of the, the the big ones was just feeling exhausted all the time it's not as bad now uh, but I do still have my moments when I'm tired and I didn't know if you stand for too long that's too much if you sit down for too long that's too much even when I go to work now the chair that I thought was comfortable that we changed to that we sit on at work not comfortable my like the tailbone of my bum would kill me like would hurt and my back would really ache and i'm like what is i feel like this is not even my body what's going on and so me i'm not really good at keeping things in i'm gonna voice them out if i'm feeling pain you're gonna know i'm feeling pain because in my work like i said my job as a support worker i do sleeps here and there so the bed became uncomfortable <laughs> the mattress was uncomfortable but before i never had any problems the mattress was so uncomfortable so painful i would leave work with extreme backache and i'll go home and sleep again because i would feel like like i was shaking like that's how painful it was and i was like uh -uh, we have to reduce we have to reduce our sleeps i only did two sleeps so like i'll be going down to like one in december because i thought i'll just push through a little bit you know get some pillows in get some pregnancy pillows and help because i never thought why do people use pregnancy pillows now i know now i know <laughs> my nose would block like um literally block and i was using hay fever nose uh, nasal spray for a very long time i don't use them as much now i still have my the moments where my nose gets stuffy i was like Whoa. <laughs> what is going on but yeah um there's I think that's it I, I don't know i don't think there's any more symptoms but i was excited to just enjoy this big house with just me and my husband for a bit and uh, but now we're like prepping for the baby like it's it's a lot to juggle fixing up a house making it how you want it to be and also having a baby baby on the way and getting the baby stuff as well so it's like uh, i at first i was so stressed because i was like lord i don't know what to focus on what do i focus on i don't like to live in a house that's not looking good i want to make sure it looks good like in my heart i just forgot was saying like just take one thing at a time don't try to do everything at once i want to fix things like this but i've learned to slow down thank god for that learn to slow down learn to do one thing at once and like now we've kind of painted the walls and did everything that was like major to me that i was like i keep seeing this i don't like it i keep seeing this i don't like it so in, in those were the major things that that was literally irritating me and i was like okay that, that, that's done now i can focus on my beautiful baby that's coming get all the little bits that i want like i was like every time like when i go to primark i'm looking at baby clothes i'm like oh my gosh i can't believe this is me uh i can't believe because i've never been that person who thought like oh my kids are gonna be like this my kids are gonna be like that. i've never thought about that at all though i knew i was gonna have kids in the future i've just never been a person who fantasized about yeah my kids would do this my kids would that. then the only thing that i said was i want my kids to have a good beautiful meaning name because meaning the names got very 
big meanings yes we've already got a name for our baby and but yeah i don't think i'm gonna tell nobody you're not gonna know if you know and you're not family it is by mistake okay <laughs> and you better sh but yeah i think it's just sacred i value you i never used to see the value of keeping things a secret but i really do i didn't understand why my sister kept her secret when she was pregnant and even when she gave birth i didn't understand it but i really do now it makes it so special like even when i said when i posted the video i was like no because i enjoyed being a secret i enjoyed hiding it because i was like this is special this is beautiful i can't just say it out to everybody and um thank god my husband was on board too until the very last minute but i forgave him i forgave him so i'm gonna bring him on now so we can just talk about everything like the reaction of the baby what he was thinking about just want to hear his thoughts so you can see him but he's gonna go back soon because he's busy you know what i mean so we're back and i've got my husband with me i'm only still in him for a little bit yeah i was just gonna insert um a little clip of my husband's reaction and we're just gonna talk a little bit about it uh but yeah Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? So babe, I always had one question and that what was your first thoughts and why were you running? What were, where were you running to? <laughs> because all you could hear was, where are you going? <laughs> where, why was you running? What was your first instinct? Because you just ran. <laughs> so what happened? Well, I said, you know, and you told me I bought a watch. I was thinking, watch from where? I, I don't remember last time you opened in Amazon to try to get something. So, you know, when I opened up that thing, mm. you know, when I saw the first one, I was like, nah, I was lost. And then, you know, when I was like, so the next one, you know, I, I, I remember I thing I said to you, like, you know what, the day you told me that I'm pregnant, I think I'm just going to cry and break down or something like that. I didn't see no tears. I guess, no I guess <laughs> whatsoever. I guess the feeling was different. I was uh, full of excitement. And was you in shock? Uh, yeah, I feel like you know, like uh, I, I won the lottery or, or like you know, a is that why you're player. running? Yeah, like a football player with a score, like you know, a very important goal. So you know, I had to do the Usain Bolt. <laughs> so, so that's why you I ran. just ran out of happiness. Yeah, I was excited. I was like, God! <laughs> like, Did you hear me scream at the door, like, yeah! I did. I still was confused. Like, what? You finished screaming and you still ran anyway. Yeah, because no, I, I had to run and scream at the whole world so they can hear. Mm. You know, all of the people from a uh, uh, from a thing that was outside, they were just looking and seeing me screaming. Yeah, and then you know, I did my round on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I was really like, still, because I still ask him. And I don't know, I feel like I'm not fully satisfied, but I get it now because he was full of excitement. And he yeah, just... I mean, that was exciting though. You know, that was one of the best feelings in the world. That Did I you expect it that I'll get pregnant like that yeah. quick? Because the whole plan was going to be I mean, after know, 30. You know? I got like a, a very, you know, strong protein. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going and, you know. Hey, yeah, know, like the family, you know what I mean? No, we shooter. both never thought that it was gonna be like that quickly because I had literally just came off the implant, it was only two months in, and he didn't want me to go. And
having any pills or anything because i was trying to take the pill because i was like oh we gotta be careful but then i was like oh no i'm just gonna take a break so yeah Shoot. he's got some super super bodies in there that's how <laughs> that's what happened how was it um you know we're coping with whole pregnancy situation like with the changes going through my body and like from you know the wife and the person you knew to be you know to all of a sudden just sleeping a lot being so tired complaining about headaches and nipples sensitive like what was that for you and we see that was it wasn't just me going through changes but it was also you it was so beautiful <laughs> boy get on with it mm -hmm. mm. Mm. um uh, I never really thought about that is you know you just gotta learn to adapt you know yeah, um, but I'm sure that was it must have been a lot for you too mm. you know I mean you know she's getting it's adaptable it's all right you know mm. you know oh now the, the you asking about something all the time you know and this house is too big all this walking up the stairs and down <laughs> is long. I don't even ask you that much no, now. No, I'm always screaming my name. Hey! Yeah, yeah. Oh, give me some water. Oh, can I have some fruit? Oh, you didn't put this on that. Can you bring me that? Not all the time. No, but you exaggerate. Not all the time, but you know, I'm just saying all of those things. Mm. Yeah, all of those things is the part that, you know. Yeah, oh, I I'm forgot to watch my football, you know. You know. Oh, uh, I fancy. Can you get me some clothes from the Zim shop? Yeah, we literally got a Zim shop like two seconds away. You know, so <laughs> yeah, that's 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 really much about it, you know. So you were not like irritated. No. Like, you were because you're like I'm playing football. You're like screaming mm. my name. No, not irritated. I can't really say that, you know, irritated, it's just, you know, one of the things that, you know, now is part of us, you know, it needs to be done. Mm. So, you know. What? I was pretty crazy in, like, the first, first early days. But one thing I liked was that my cravings were only just, most, most of my cravings were just fruit. Yeah. The things that I craved were fruit. Because I couldn't stand the smell of garlic. Yeah. I mean, you starting to catch some thingy of uh, vinegar. Vinegar? <laughs> yeah, remember like uh, when I made that beef and you be like, oh yeah, I need to put more vinegar. I'm like, what did you mean? I like the soury mm -hmm. thing. It's so nice. It's, it makes, he cooks so differently, but it's unique and I like it. Top chef. So, yeah, he's... Oh. I know you sleep a lot. You know, sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up. I don't know. sleep as much as I did in the first trimester. Yeah, myself. that's true. But I'm always like, you know, laying in bed and things like Just yeah. lying in bed because we just got a new bed and it's yeah. so comfortable. <laughs> yeah, and that my baby always be kicking you though. This baby kicks me like no one's business. Even, um... Even the scans, you know, I used to always tell G that, but, you know, uh, yeah, he's strong, though. You seen it on the yeah. scan, he was like, oh, and then he went to tell his mom, like, <laughs> that was flipping, you know, kicking, punching, stretching, all sorts. And was that like that? How many scans did, did we have to know, go to to actually? We had three or four. I think almost four, I think. It was four. I don't know between three and four. Three and four. Three and four you're only like just supposed to have one. Yeah. And we had to go three mm -hmm. because he just got his own mind mm -hmm. and was like, "Listen, I don't want to show you my mm -hmm. face. I'm not sitting up for you. I'm just gonna chew here. You mm -hmm. see, what did you chew there? The baby would just be carry on move, carry on moving. But yeah. when the baby, um. Uh, was supposed to stay still he'd be jumping and moving all over the place and then uh when you wanted the baby to move he wouldn't move the baby would just stay there and, and hide his face, face. 
<laughs> then, would, then the people start shaking my belly like oh come on baby move 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 <laughs> no i'm not moving nah, so we had to be booked in like so many times and and I, I think one thing that disappointed me i don't know what it was everyone's scans that i've seen are so clear but ours was just blurry yeah so i didn't understand that like that's true though. we 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 never had a really nice clear photo of our baby uh for scan so yeah um we know the gender we've already got a name but we're not telling nobody <laughs> but yeah um i don't know if you've got anything else that you want to talk about that you, um about the baby and stuff no what do you know me i'm just excited about it um i can't wait to meet this baby you ready to be a daddy uh, be ready to be a dad. I always want to be ready to be a papa. I always want to be a daddy, you know. You've been wanting this baby yeah, like six months, like six months when we're in the yeah, uh, marriage for a very long time, you know. You know even people were beating nine me, my baby, you know. I you know finally I caught you like pa! Oh, he, that he, he trapped me up. <laughs> <laughs> Trap. <laughs> I was already, but anyway, we're here. Mm. We're excited. We can't wait to see our little baby. We'll be giving you updates mm. here and there. About it, you know? Yeah, I think that's about it. Thinking. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you now. Thank you so much for joining me to talk about our little baby. My pleasure. Mm. See y'all. Mm, you know, cute. Mm. I like this yellow. Yellow looks good on me, you know. So that's really much it. Um, I'm sorry if I'm in a different angle, but we had to move some things, so I'm not in the right position as I was earlier. But that's the story, guys. That's our journey with the baby. We are so excited to meet our baby. We are so excited to see how the baby's gonna look like. It's gonna look like me. Uh, is the baby gonna look like me or is the baby gonna look like the daddy yeah oh I said I was gonna show you a little I'm wearing something baggy but yeah I'm gonna show you a little baby bump oh it's so hard to do it I'm gonna have to put the, the camera down Curve. at the moment is I'm wearing something baggy I'm gonna have to lift it up because I'm wearing something inside at the moment this is the baby bump yep this is the side view the baby's in there kicks like nobody's business but hold on <laughs> it's like no one's business and i'm a different angle but we're wrapping up soon that's the baby and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for for subscribing and still watching my videos when i don't post thank you and hello new subscribers welcome to the family let me know what you're thinking comment on my videos i'll reply back i'll see you in the next video bye